Hello there guys and gals, the Welsh Hunter here back with yet another 100% achievement guide and this time we are getting it all in little kitty big city cotton ball of fur. Uh, now this was developed and published by Double Dagger Studio and is usually available for £20.99 slash I believe $24.99 but is included in Xbox Game Pass on day one so get that Game Pass good. Right so this uh, well basically it does what it says in the title then. We are going to play as Little Kitty, who's in the big city, who we do have to find our way home, but, you know, exploration and stuff and all that fun simulatory stuff we're going to do first. Uh, as for achievements, well, there's just a whole bunch going on, really. Um, now, nothing is really missable, because you can just play after the game's finished anyway. Uh, you can mop up whatever you want. But we do have to get a lot of things, like get petted ten times. Uh, take 20 photos, uh, kick a ball into a, a, a football net or soccer net four times. Um, it's just literally, there is just a whole random bit of variety that we've got going on. So uh, just to get, get to the timestamps if you're missing something specific. Plus we have to find 42 hats, which would probably be the grindiest one of the game. But uh, this will take you between sort of two and a half hours-ish to three hours. So... Well, with that being said, let, 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 let's do it! And here we are. Now, there are big puddles in the sunshine, which, of course, Kitty doth not like. Man, kitties are cute. Lucky they're cute. I'm allergic, but lucky they're cute. Anyway, wiggle yourself free, first of all, then, and here we go. Let's begin. Now, like I said, there's a, a, a quite a few achievements that we're going to have to grab. Um, and I will tell you as we go along. So we're obviously not getting through there. So head to the right, first of all. And obviously, you've got, it's normal. It's the A button to jump and left stick to move and all that jazz magonies. Head right and right again through this little open gate. Uh, it's the right bumper as well if you want to run. And then we're just going to climb up. Luckily, there's no humans to be all like, Hey, get the hell out of my house. Now, I have this problem a lot, actually. I open up a window... Leave some food on the side, and random cats come in and eat it. Maybe I should stop. Uh, right, <laughs> leaving random food. Okay, so there's one of your first out of two achievements that we're going to grab. Basically, you get two achievements. One for breaking ten pots, and uh, one for breaking a hundred pots. So basically, every, every wall that we go onto, or every time we see any plant pots, we're going to press the left trigger or white trigger to swipe, and that's going to break it. Remember, so we need 100 in order to do this. So if you hold the A button, and you can actually then move it with the left stick in order to precisionly jump over the gap. Go ahead then and speak to L. Russell Crowe. And yes, of course, we'll just smash through the uh, dialogue by pressing the A button there. So again, any pots that you see, give them the old whack -a -dee -dee, And give yourself the old precision jump over of life. So we'll come in handy. The cats can do some marvellous things. Uh, so we're going to go ahead, knock these two plants off, and then we're going to jump into the garden. Come on, stupid pad. Get off! Yeah. Thank you. I feel like Miss Trunchbull there with the scream from Matilda. The good original Matilda. Uh, right, so what we're going to do then is, uh, well, you can have a look at your to-do list. Obviously, we, get, we are going to get an achievement for basically completing all quests, which are pretty much unmissable anyway, I don't, I think. Uh, plus, we get, we got to meet all the animals. Again, that's pretty much unmissable as we go through the game. There's all of the hats that we have to find. A lot you can actually buy and a lot that we can actually find. So, uh, yeah, job done. So once we've uh, had a little look through there, what we're going to do is interact with the paint pots in order to smash them down. And then you're going to walk into the paint and then walk all over the uh, canvas, which is on the floor. That's basically going to complete our first quest when you've uh, got enough paint on the bad boy. Hmm. Hmm. Ah. 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 Uh, 
Um, I couldn't tell if the uh, mouthless, noseless, eyes, eyeless guy there was either very happy or very annoyed. Either way, climb up <laughs> with the help of the blue flowers there. Again, make sure to knock off any of your plant pots. And then... Uh, we're gonna... Oh, there we go. So we'll get the first achievement there, decluttering. And just, again, continue to walk along the wall, just knocking off any plant pots. Should be three or four on here. And then once that's done, what we'll do is just drop straight down, lovely jubbly. And you can obviously see the football right there. So what you're going to do is just put that straight in the back of the net. I mean, if this was a uh, cat playing for Manchester United, you know we'd probably miss and uh, he wouldn't actually give any service to our strikers. And we'd be minus three goal difference throughout the whole season. But uh, this is not a rant. This is just me clearly explaining... Being a Manchester United fan sucks right now. Although it could always be worse, couldn't it? So there we go. Back of the net. That's one out of four complete. Hey! Oh, look, he chases his little tail. Cute. So with that one done, we can uh, we can just go ahead. We're going to move on. Oh, in fact, actually, yeah, if you hold the Y button, you can actually do an emoji. Um, so choose any one. Press the Y. Hold the Y button. Choose whatever you want, and you'll get the... Can't start the feelings! Achievement. Meh, 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 meh. Right, so we will continue uh, basically straight past the bike, and you can see a bunch of orange cones here on the left. Now, make sure to pick up this rubber duck, because we are going to need this again for another achievement later on. So go left, press left, remember to crawl under, under the hole. And then just nip through all of these puddles, and we're going to speak to El Cronus again after absolutely crapping El Pantos. So as for the uh, any dialogue options that you choose, none of them really matter. So don't panic if you uh, just keep spamming the A button and you actually miss one. It's all good. So once the, uh, again, just leave your rubber duck here right next to the crow. We'll come back to that later on. But for now, we'll head to the right, just past the bus and the railings there. And we're going to crawl under. If you take a left of where you came in, I believe. Yes, this is the first bin. Now we can jump in for dumpster diving. One out of ten. There are actually about 12 or 13 bins around the country. Or the big city, little city cardboard box. Uh, so go ahead, press the X button on these shinies. That's basically what we've got to do now uh, in order to progress the story. Is find sh uh, 25 shiny things. So go through this little pipe here. And you can just grab that. Now... There is actually a mega easy way to make money if you need it, or make shinies, sorry. Uh, basically, you can actually recycle cans, uh, which again, we will need for an achievement as we climb up on the bus and grab the first hat of the game. But uh, I'll show you what it is, basically like a big blue um, thing, or a big red like machine. So you headbutt it by pressing the right bumper and then find a recycling bin. You can pop those in and that'll get you some shinies and some money. So if you need that. So after we get our first hat then, what we can do is just drop straight down. And this time, well, I'm just, just going to grab this shiny on the road here. And then we're going to turn back around and we're going to go the other side of the... Oh my god, they don't have any faces. What the hell happened here? Only the animals have faces. The animals are taken over. I knew it. Right, so climb up on the cardboard boxes anyway. Again, smash these two parts down. They've got to break in order for them to count. So give them the little smash. Then you're going to jump on the car. And you can obviously already see El Shinyos. And then go ahead and jump up onto the bus stop as well. Meow. Meow, 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 meow. There we go, that's another one done, and then drop down, and then interact with the Pokeball-looking thing for another hat. How about that? Oh, 
All right, so coming up then, what uh, this was basically. Now, I ended up actually uh, just ramming in, into this soda machine right here first. That'll get us the Who Needs Cash achievement uh, before we just head up the. There's plenty of them about, so don't worry if you don't get it yet, but might as well grab that one out of the way while we're here. Um, now, again, anytime people walk past, remember to press the X button. Oh, <laughs> sorry, bruh. That'll happen an awful lot as well. People on their phones will uh <laughs> people on their phones to just trip over you so that's hilarious but again there's a couple of achievements in, uh, tied to humans we've got to <laughs> so, sorry it's just funny they can be fuming but basically we've got to make 20 humans stumble so basically trip over themselves and there's another shiny right there as well in the doorway um we have to get basically nuzzled 10 times should pretty much come automatically more than 10 people should be all like Oh, hello, and give you a little stroke and stuff. And then when we get the meow button available, we've got to then uh, basically meow next to a person with a phone who should then take a photo of us. Some people do, some people don't. A lot of them are few when they sort of walk diarrheally away, as it were. So, yeah. So just a few to look out for. Now, this is an area we're going to speak to Mayor. The Mayor right here. But basically, there is an achievement as well called fruit fall and that is for basically getting a human to slip on a piece of fruit now you think this would be a lot easier than it was for some reason m mine just didn't unlock at all i ended up accidentally unlocking three different achievements here which of course i'm going to show you right now so you can get them at the same time if you want so they're out of the way but what you're supposed to do obviously with the banana is put it in someone's way and then eventually they're supposed to slip but this, I don't know if this is a bit of a glitch, or if it just doesn't work the way it's intended, or if there's a different way. But, uh, <laughs> yeah, sorry. But, yeah, so for some reason, it didn't entirely work. So, now, all I did was just go around the, where we got the shiny earlier, come around this part of the car park. So, you're going to see these birds as well. So, what you need to do is get close to a bird, press the left bumper to, to crouch, and then press the A button. When the option appears, press the A button. If you manage to ca catch it just as it's starting to fly off, you will then get the cat-like reflexes achievement. Um, but uh, bear in mind, we need three of these feathers in order to progress the story in just a little bit as well. So uh, that's the third one. Oh, that's the second one, sorry. Uh, again, I'm just trying to make, literally, as I said, all I've been trying to do for like, all I was trying to do for 20 minutes was trying to get this fruit fall achievement. And I ended up getting uh, completely something else. So, as you can see, you knew where I was there. Uh, it was just around the other side of the street. So again, that wasn't working. Um, now, to get the surprise achievement there, what do you see me do? I just jumped into him. That knocks a human over. So if you just keep knocking, uh, if you just keep jumping into our faceless friends, then eventually one of them will fall over and that will get you the surprise achievement and also people you'll get another achievement just for people basically stumbling over you so just keep getting in the way and uh you will then get the trip hazard achievement so yes and as it turns out with the fruit fall achievement i actually i actually didn't even bother getting it because uh it was taking too long so i thought i'd come back and get it later so if you've got those three achievements and you're uh, and you've got the fruit fall achievement or, or whatever We'll just uh, crack on with the story for a minute. So we've basically got to get rid of these three jam jars. There was the first one right at the back corner of the store. The next one here is by the desk. So you're not going to be able to do it the way I'm doing it. You need to go behind the counter and then climb up the boxes. And then the third one is right opposite, where old lady Jenkins is walking right there. But she is kind of fuming, so, uh, yeah, just be careful. Probably fuming because you keep knocking her bananas off, by the way. But <laughs> now for some reason, that uh, that fruitful thing there, apparently it can work if you actually hit a banana into a person as well. Um, but, yeah. Anyway, so once you've climbed up, smash this third jam jar. Now, the other jam jar didn't smash for me, so... 
Let's just go and smash that one. And also, I'm going to get an achievement called And Stay Out here. And that is for basically causing so much damage and being such a pain in the old cat testes that, uh, yeah, she chucks us out. So, uh, yeah. Again, that is another easy one to get. So even if you do the quest here for Maya, just keep messing up her store and then she will eventually kick you out anyway. Any more? Nope. Sorry, just got just got through your legs there. Right, so Maya can sleep again now. And actually, now what we can do is, uh, yeah, we, we can press the Y button now in order to meow. And we're going to get the first achievement. Well, there's going to be two. Uh, things we're gonna get here now remember as I said press the Y button if you can if if you can remember anyway Anytime you see a human with a phone press the Y button uh, when they're coming towards you to see if they take a picture uh, You need 20 of them to take a picture of you to get the local celebrity achievement uh, So uh, just before you go anyway, go ahead sit in this cardboard box if I fit say sits Very cutely named achievement, but that's the first out of five that is done, and now we're going to basically spam the Y button ten times in a row. Oh, sorry, mate. I was just trying to get a picture because I'm so cute. Okay, that is, it's not going well. Right, so, like I said, we are going to go ahead and... Oh, yeah, there's a photo. Nice. So, like I said, local celebrity, that's going to be one out of 20 complete. So, if you can... Remember, I personally didn't remember and then it was the last achievement of the game I was getting But there is apparently an easier way to get it if you are struggling and you don't have it uh, by the end of the video Which I'll tell you about in just a little bit. So again, just spam the Y button as quick as you can and You will get the what sweet music achievement Ooh, it's a lovely time. Okay, so go straight ahead. We're going to go into the right. There's another shiny there, but we're now we're going to take a right through this open gate. There's also going to be the next dumpster diving, which is to the right of where we entered. There she blows. So pop yourself in there. Give yourself a little num 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 num. Probably like a dead mouse or something like that. We all appreciate a uh, cat present. Dead mouse, dead bird, something like that. But uh, I mean, you could just fry it up, can't you? Get rid of the skin and whatever. Now, like I said, every time you uh, go through a bin, more shinies will appear. So that'll come in handy as well. So we're going to go through the only crawl space that we can and end up in this, like, sand garden pit. And you can see a little bit of light straight in front of us. Head towards it. Press the X button. That's going to be the first out of seven for the Cat Napper achievement. So again, we have to find seven cozy, wozy little places in order to... Snoopenhausen. So with that one done, we are going to go and climb up these boxes, <coughs> just to the right of where the catnapper was. And again, smash open, oh, <laughs> smash these pots down. Oh, that was a good one. God damn, that was impressive. And then just going to go ahead, continue forward. Uh, exactly not like that, but uh, basically continue forward, climbing up until we speak with Zachameleon. So now for that one, we just got to find the chameleon like eight times or something. So uh, once we get onto this little roof here, if we take a right, you can see another shiny which we can pick up. Again, where he's put, where the cat's put in this, has he got little cute little cat pockets or is it something more weird? I don't know. Uh, but anyway, if you continue forward onto the AC unit and if you go up to the right of this roof, what you can see is another shiny and also a bird's nest. Now, this is another one of those achievements where we have to find 10 of. So just give it a whack and that'll be sticky business. 
One out of ten. So we've got to find another nine bird nests and smash and doin. Doin, doin. Right, so we can now jump straight down into the street. Here we are then at the fruit and veggie shop. And, uh... Oh, there we go. Look, so a guy with a phone's just taking another photo of us. So that is cute. Thank you, my love. Hey, love me! Can't take a photo of not love me. Right, that's it. I'm going to sue you guys. Okay, so first up, now we're going to head to the top of the road by the fruit and veg shop. Uh, just to our left, as we go past the construction site here, is going to be another bin for us to jump in. That should be dumpster diving 3 out of 10. And of course, remember to pick up L Shinyosis as well. And as you can see then, you can see the football right there. So what we need to do is go straight forward past the puddle to the right in the car park. And uh, that's where the goal is. But also we can get another achievement here. Thank you very much. That's the one. That's what we're after. So just put it next to a human. And as long as they kick the ball, that'll get you the to me to you achievement. To me, to you. To me, to you. Chuckle Brothers legendary style. Now for whatever reason, it took me about five minutes in order to get this. Because people... Kept kicking the friggin' football away. Yeah. No, stop. No, god damn it. No. Stop it. Stop it. That's what you get, being allergic to me for kicking my ball away. Never kick a cat's balls, dude. All right, finally. So try and, try and avoid the humans now if you can. But right in this car park at the end there, that is where. Get, get, get. Oh, okay. I'll have some love. Ah, oh, there you go. Well, that, that actually helped me for once. Anyway, check it in the goal. That's two out of four. <laughs> oh, God damn, that's seriously set, dude. Oh, well, I'm not too bad, I suppose. Anyway, so from the net, we're going to take a left, and we're going to climb up this cardboard box, up the vending machine, up onto the roof. You may have to climb behind you. Yep, there we go. And it's basically going to be sticky business, two out of ten. And of course, you need to collect the shinies that come out of it. So what we'll do is drop down here, and you can see El Chunky Old Ginger Boy. So speak to El Gingos. He's basically just going to give us a new emote. And to be fair, that's a pretty good one. He can't beat a good big stretch. Right, so now what we need to do is go ahead and find another couple of birds. Remember, in order to get through this next... Well, portal, you need to have a total of three feathers by basically catching three birds. So remember, left bumper to crouch, and the A button in order to pounce when the uh, when it becomes available. Now, the birds won't always stay there, so they'll sort of uh, come down, sit down, and then they'll have a little fly away, and then they'll come back. Uh, but you've got to do it you know, relatively quickly. But anyway, once you do have three feathers, uh, hopefully one of those you got the cat like reflexes achievement as well we're going to climb up here it was uh, on the boxes of, to the right there's a shiny on here and a shiny on top so grab that one nice nice proper save me it drop down and speak to the battle Oh. 
So yes, as it turned out, it wasn't a chi giant talking butthole, he's Ventura style. Um, but uh, now he's going to ask for three feathers, of course. We'll say, sure, we've got him. And he will open up a portal for us. So obviously, as we go along the game, you're going to see like these colourful little things on the ground. Um, and Tanuki here will basically pop his head out and be like, hey, you want to come in this one? You will always need one feather, though. So every time that you see a bird, try and get at least... One feather. Um, again, this achievement's tied to them anyway. We need to unlock every portal that Tanuki has to offer. And we have to catch 20 birds anyway. So, it's job done. Um, now, if you wanted, or if you want to, I, I'm going to do it in just a little bit. But basically, with the scissors, if you just go out of this building construction site and run at someone, you'll get the killer kitty achievement. Uh, but again, I don't bother getting it just yet. I just, I'll progress in with the story. So, press X to jump in. And we're gonna head. Uh, we're gonna end up the other side of the fence, where we can't get back. So that's always cute. But fear not, my beloveds, we can get back, so don't panic. Right, if we head over to the right, there's going to be a little shiny there, so make sure to grab that. Then if we head down and to the right, so all the way right, sorry, uh, what you're going to see is a dog. We can't get past him just yet, because we've got to give him a little bone. Yep. You're giving a dogger a bone. Yeah. Uh, so we're just going to jump up here onto these air conditioning units, and we're going to get the sticky business. Three out of ten, that should be now. Right, so what we will do now is jump into the construction site. Uh, now, the construction worker is walking around. He'll kick you out if he sees you, tries to chase you, but just go straight ahead into the crawl space. And then what we're going to see is uh, a shiny and a bone. So you're giving the dogger, dogger the old boner, which is nice. Uh, so wait for all construction dong to knob off. There we go. Thank you very much. Crawl back out. We're going to go straight left, left, and put the bone in the bowl. There we go. Happy days. Right, you can see another hat at the end of the road there. Make sure to grab that one now. Now, I actually forgot about that until the very last hat that I was going to grab. Uh, so, yeah. So... That's annoying, so make sure before or after doing this dumpster diving here, this is number 4 out of 10, make sure to go ahead and grab the hat there at the end of the road. That should be the corn hat. The cornhole hat. Um, but yeah, for some reason I grab it at the very end of the game rather than right now. So jumping up on the van, that's going to give us another shiny. Uh, we're going to just stick along the uh, path here. Don't talk to the chameleon yet. We're going to come back to him in just a second or six. And then you can see there is another hat there on the right. So open that one up. And that's the old hardened hat. So when old, the old construction bra has gone, what we'll do is just jump straight down. And we are going to effectively now head up the ramp. And that's going to be just in the sort of middle right here. There is another bird there. Uh, birds will obviously be all over the place anyway, so don't worry. So climb up, go straight and speak to the beetle. So, time to uh, go stealing, apparently. 
Right, before we go ahead and do that though, there's a jar of Chinese up here, so we're gonna smash that down. Oh, hell of a shot, dog. And then, of course, remember to pick them all up, so we should have more than enough now in order to progress the story with the crow. But obviously, we've got quite a few things to do here. So, come back to this area where the beginning of the ramp was. First things first, we're gonna get the industrial artist achievement for just walking in the wet concrete, because that's always gonna be cute. To see little paw prints in the little constructionies. Uh, then just go to the back of this area and we're going to pull this box out of the way. So you're going to need to go to the side. Hold the X button and then of course move it backwards. That gives us a little... Uh, now apparently when you're doing stuff, they don't care. As long as you're pulling your load. Ah! Pulling your pickle. Uh, anyway. <laughs> he tried catching me then. So crawl out and then obviously what we need to do is go ahead and find someone with a phone... And give them the old trip up of... Oh, sorry, bro. I thought there was a phone. It was a sandwich. I'm, I'm sorry. I am actually sorry. Uh, so eventually, whatever the hell they're going to be. <laughs> oh, there we go. Look, I actually got the Cult of Personality achievement there. Again, that may unlock for you quicker. Or it may unlock for you a, lot, uh, a little bit later. For people just coming up to you and giving you the old snuggy woogie of life. Uh, so that's the Cult of Personality done. And remember to press the Y button anyway if you see someone with a phone so we can take photos of you. Um, otherwise, let's just go ahead and look around. Um, now, of course, that, that can be the whole thing with this game. It can be slightly randomly generated, but oh, there's one. So anyone on their phone, you give them the smash of life, rob their phone, obviously it's not that important, and return it to the beetle. <laughs> Sorry, kid. Right, so we're going to get two achievement here. The Snap Happy achievement. This is uh, automatic anyway. So then if you press down on the D-pad and just go ahead and take 20 pictures of absolutely anything and everything. Just keep snapping 20 pictures. Cat's butts and beetle butts and whatever you want. Uh, bear in mind, obviously, it does save the screenshot every time you take a picture. So, <laughs> uh, yep, bear that one in mind. But anyway, once you've taken 20 pictures you will get the Papa Katsy achievement. Again, just a lovely little play on words. Right then, so what we're gonna do is actually get another sort of miscellaneous achievement here. We're gonna go ahead and rob another person's phone, another faceless nightmares person's phone. So crawl under. Oh, if we got one straight away. Oh, bruh. That's awesome. Okay, that was lucky this time. So now we're going to go back to where the dog was. And there's going to basically be a porter loo. Um, of course, we can't get that way because we're scared of... Oh, there he goes. <laughs> Look at Diarrhea Man. Diarrhea Man. He walks like he's pooped himself. I think that's a very, uh, very fetching theme tune, really. Um, oh, yeah, the Papa Katsy achievement has finally unlocked after saving all my screenshots. There it is. Right, so just go around to the dog, and it's basically the portaloo where the chameleon was. Make sure to drop the phone into the toilet to get the splish achievement. Poop splish. <laughs> Right then, so now we're going to go ahead and now we've obviously got a way back to the main part of the street. Uh, we're going to go ahead and get the Killer Kitty achievement here as well. Uh, no, so we're going to have to go back through the building site and through the back. Yeah, Trudy back. Hello, man, Trudy. Trudy back. How is my friend? I don't know what the hell kind of uh, acting that was. and I'm very sorry for... 
Everyone I was about to offend with that. Very unintentional. Anyway, now we're back on the road again. Anyone with a phone, remember to take the Y, uh, press the Y button, see if you'll get any pictures. Otherwise, we're going to head back into the building site and go over to where Tanuki was. <laughs> Now, wherever you have put the scissors, oh, in fact, actually, we're going to go jump in this cardboard box first, sorry. If I fit, say sit. So that's going to be number two out of five for the white cardboard box. And then go ahead, grab, I knew there was something else in that area, and that it, that it was. So go ahead, grab the scissors, just run up towards any faceless nightmare, and the Killer Kitty achievement will unlock. Now, apparently, there is an easier way to get people to take photos of you. If you have these scissors or... A katana later on in the game and go up towards people with the phone apparently they will uh, if you press the Y button they will take a picture of you pretty much automatically so that's something to keep in mind if you want to get that one out of the way now or whatever um, otherwise what we're gonna do is <laughs> is this me trying to get yeah I think I'm just trying to get the fruitful achievement again and it ain't gonna work just it just ain't uh, but effectively what we need to do now is at the end of this road when we turn the other way, I'm just seeing if it works, but it does not again. Even with Angry Diarrhea Man. So at the end of this road, we are going to take a right and basically return to the crow. And now we can start powering up our climbing ability. Wow. Right, so this here is the first out of four fish that we're going to eat uh, throughout the game. So we're going to spam the B button in order to eat it. That's going to give us the snack time achievement. Plus, we can actually climb up vines now. So, ah, how awesome. Again, humans, unfortunately, do not get the same power that cats do, unfortunately. Right, so make sure to pick up the rubber ducky duck duck and then go straight ahead and climb up the vines. We can now get into a new area. Or you can press the A button to slightly jump up some. Ooh, exciting times ahead, huh? Uh, you can go ahead and pick up the shiny as well. And then another one. And then what you can see there is a duck just up on these steps right there. So we are actually going to go ahead and uh, speak to him. Speak to it. Right, so we have got a cheeky map then so if you press up on the d-pad as it just seen it'll actually tell you where the uh, fishes are the ducks are and the rubber ducks and everything uh, plus tanuki's portals as well so if you are missing a portal for whatever particular reason uh, the map will come in handy for you so what we're going to do now is go oh there's a little shiny on the right hand side we're just going to grab again we're going to need a lot of shinies anyway uh, in order to buy the hats remember we got to buy i think it's like 16 from machines so oh sorry diary lady right so off we go here then there's tanuki first of all though uh, but make sure to put the rubber duck in this pond and there is another one directly in front of us so make sure to give yourself the jump over of life now sometimes in the bushes there will be shinies as well so again keep an eye out for that but <clears throat> excuse me once you put two of the rubber duckies in that is two out of the four done and also, if you have got another feather, here is... <laughs> yeah, you can't actually kill this bird. He's part of the story. As we're doing some Max Payne slow-mo... Uh, Max Payne 3 slow-mo style gunning. Uh, but as long as you've got a feather, you can talk to Tanuki there, and that will actually open up that portal hallway. <laughs> Ah! <laughs> 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 
And of course, like I said, you didn't actually need a feather to fast travel for the first time there, but you will from now on. Right, okay, so what we're going to do, uh, this is basically the place we started, but this area wasn't available first. Now it is. Now if we speak to the good dog, uh, he gonna, he's going to want us to basically fetch his balls. He's been not neutered. Uh, he's just on about tennis balls. So, first of all then, in a bucket on the left, there it is. We're going to just give that a little whack down there. There's the first one, so you're going to need to roll that into the hole in front of him. Next up then, look behind you, we're going to climb the ivy here on the greenhouse. And then, uh, but before we crack on, if you have a look to the left there, in fact, the tennis ball is already in there, uh, so that's all good. But we're going to get the sticky business, 4 out of 10 for that one as well. So grab the shinies as well, and then roll your little nugget ball onto tennis balls. Right, so let's go ahead and get the cat napper second out of seven. Take a little nap in the dogs in the doghouse. Oh, kitty's in the doghouse. Why, haven't we been there lots and lots of times in our life? Right, men? Yes, you know what I mean by being in the doghouse. It's it's, uh, it's a natural occurrence for us, even though, uh, you know, we try not to. Anyway, climb back up the IV anyway. And this time we're going to climb up the air conditioning unit, the UC, the AC. Oh, God damn it! what the hell? This isn't the first Assassin's Creed game, you know. Jesus, monkey. Jesus Christ, monkey bells. So, uh, climb up, smash all the pots down, and one of them, the middle one, will have the tennis ball in. So, uh, smash all these down, and then roll the tennis ball, and he'll give us a nice cheeky little hat as a spank in your hairy crutch. So there we go, congratulations, you tapped, you sat, you hit, you licked, you headbutted those balls and you're all good. Right, so again, hopefully you do have a feather, at least one feather, so you can open up Tanuki's portal right here. This will be uh, a lot easier, like I said, every time that we do this, we are going to uh, find a bird just to get another feather. Um, otherwise, if you don't, you can make your basic, basically go back on foot to where we were. It's just over the vines where you last talked to the crow and sort of back in the direc direction of the duck. So, uh, yeah. So there we go. So now we're back with the duck anyway. Uh, what we're going to do, there's another shiny here on the right we're just going to grab. And then what we'll do uh, from the left of the duck, hello duck, is a dumpster diving bin. That's going to be number five out of ten in order to get... And then we got a whole park thing, and we got a whole bunch of stuff going going on in this area. So give yourself another couple of sheeny sheenies. Again, and here we go, we're just going to try and get a couple of birds going um, in order to get that one. Ah, oh, damn you, stupid bird. Uh, but yeah, so as I said, if you are struggling for shinies or whatever, make sure to pick up cans like those ones right there and find a blue recycling bin. and That'll give you some shinies. Right, so once we head right into the park here, if you turn your camera to the right, there's, you're going to see a robot statue. There it is with a lovely little pink bow tie. Uh, crawl yourself under there. And it's going to be a, another hat for us. Ah, cactus hat. The ideal hat when you don't want to speak to someone that you could just headbutt them with spikes. Yes. Uh, so again, just trying to be a sneaky little butt. Oh, screw off. 
I can't wait to get in my KFC box, damn it. So another couple of shinies here on the right-hand side, just underneath the slide. And then we're going to actually go up the slide. So jump yourself up a couple of times. And you're going to speak to the chameleon again. Right, so what we're going to do now, first we're going to jump down. We are going, and I'll tell you what these hat machines look like as we try and grab another bird. We are trying. So there's, I think, four of these sort of hat machines dotted about. There's two in this area alone. Um, oh, and if you've got another feather there, go ahead and speak to Tanuki. Uh, obviously, at the moment, I don't. Uh, but again, uh, so if you want to, if it, if it again, it should be easier if we could just go ahead, grab a bird, get a feather, and open up that portal for us. Jeebus on a cheebus. Cheese and crackers, man. That took a while, long time. Uh, so you can actually just go back to uh, where you were. So with your cat face on, you can just stay in this same area. Which, of course, is exactly what we need. Um, but, yes. Yeah, so, again, now that we've opened up that portal again, just go ahead and make sure to grab another... You stupid faceless person. Damn you. Uh, but, anyway few things we're going to do here. There is, if we go straight in front of us and down, there is a fisherman and there's a hat machine in that area as well. Don't worry, we, again, we need um, a lot of change yet anyway. Yeah! Bye-ya! Got him. Got him. So there we go. That'll come in handy for getting the... Okay, well, I did do three. Um, but go ahead th through here then. Um, this is going to be dumpster diving number six, I believe. Number six. Oh. <laughs> it's funny to see people with no faces fall over. I don't know what you're looking at me for. You can't even see. Anyway, these are the hat machines. They look like uh, almost like sweet machines or candy machines. Um, now, these couple, the one in here and the other one over to the right-hand side, going to cost uh, five shinies each. And there's going to be four in each one. No more, no less. No, no more, no less. There's going to be four in each one. So, providing you've got at least 20 shinies, you can go ahead and buy all four of the hats in this one. And you'll know that this one then is completely done. Right, so from here we'll go around the corner again. Now, what you might find as well with uh, uh, some birds which ha which are basically shiny, they basically just got some shinies attached to them. So it's worth trying to grip them boys down as well. Uh, so just on the car here, we're going to jump up onto the bin. We're going to find a another two shinies plus the chameleon to speak to once more. Why would you disappear so much? 
anyway, we'll drop down um, again. Now, in this hat machine, again, these ones cost five shinies. So I'm actually just going to buy one just to get it out of the way. Again, you don't have to worry about this one just yet if you don't want. You can come back when you've got all the shinies if you'd prefer. Uh, Broski is just fuming. He's going to go off on his diarrhea ranty run in a minute. There he goes. Uh, another shiny just to the left of the door. And jump. make sure to jump in this bin here. This will be dumpster diving 7 out of 10. And then immediately to your right, what you're going to see is another bin. So that's going to be number 8 out of 10. Ooh, a couple of shinies there. So there we go. Uh, oh, and a banana. So again, I am trying my damnedest to get some stupid person to fall over by my banana. Banana. B-A-N-A-N-A. -A -N -A -N -A. Yes, that is bananas. That is the only acceptable way to spell bananas with the Gwen Stefani cracking song. Yes, she is bananas. B-A-N-A-N-A. -A -N -A -N -A. Yes. Etc. Etc. Okay, so uh, you can see this big red truck here. What we're going to do is actually jump on said truck, uh, climb up on the boxes, and just on these sort of ledges here is another couple of shinies plus a big jar boy of shinies. So, getting back on that truck was fruitful, I'm afraid. It was pretty pointless. Again, remember to try and catch uh, as many birds as you can. We need 20 for the achievement anyway. So, if you can, try and catch what you can. Uh, but otherwise, we are going to head... Yeah! Boys, we have got it, boys. And that should be, you know, if you've been catching birds, however many. I've got four right there. Um, but if we just head back into this hat machine area, uh, just, j again, just to the right of the shop, we are just going to grab one of the hats. From here as well, we're going to get a cheeky Sonic Sonic knockoff hedgehog hat. And then, this time we're going to enter the store in the right. What we're going to do is actually get two achievements chilling out in this store. First one is going to be right in front of us. You can see a small city. Don't worry, that cat has not murdered its owner. Um, it's given out a little cat massage, which is, sounds very good right about now. So, destroy a couple of buildings there to get the big kitty little city. And then what you're going to see on the main desk is a chessboard. And what you need to do is just get rid of every single piece of said chessboard. Ah, she goes, matey, you got there in the end, didn't we? Right, okay, so with that one done, um, we're actually going to jump up to the roofy side. So, again, sort of the left-hand side of the store, just continue climbing up, and we're going to get right in the top shelf, knob these ones out the way and talk to the chameleon. But make sure not to five five. Uh, make sure not to jump down yet. Continue along the walkway. A couple of shinies, a big jar shiny, plus another place to take a little cheeky nap, which is in the le lizard's head in front of us there. So that'll be cat napper three out of seven now. Oh, 
So once we've spoken to El Catbags, uh, right in this area, it can be slightly to the right or just in front of us, we have to catch the yellow bird. Now, this took me more attempts than I care to admit. Um, but if he's not, again, he'll either go to the left of the cones or he'll go on that zebra crossing right there. Uh, so again, get some practice in, catch some other birds as well if you uh, need some feathers still. As you can see, there's a couple of shinies on that bird as well. Not that that went very well. So watch now. This actually, I left this in because this is hilarious. I went for the pounce of life. I would have got him perfectly until... Ah, oh, you stupid son of a... Yeah. And then he just punched me out the way. You stupid diarrhea, man. I hate you. In fact, you know what? Just for that, I'm taking your bagel. Meh. Yeah. Screw you and screw your bagel. I hope you have the worst day ever now. So yes, a couple of variables there, which is the reason I couldn't get it straight away. Once you finally catch the little weasel, we can effectively now just head back. Sorry, bird, you were taking a nice little uh, thing of that donut then, weren't you? Um, so head back, interact with the cat. That's basically going to be that quest done. Uh, and he's going to give us a new emote as well. So, it's nice. Right, so let's head out of the store, and then what we're going to do is go find some more cardboard boxes to fit our butt in. So if we head right, and just head down the street, immediately right in front of us now is the third out of five cardboard boxes for If I Fits, I Sits. So, just beautiful. Right, so we're going to continue following the path around. Uh, right at the end, on the right-hand side here, there's going to be a couple more shinies to... Sticky nugget in. And obviously we can't get through anymore thanks to a big puddle of water. So if we head left, there's another Tanuki boy. So open up this portal. There we go. So like I said, any time that you come near any of these portals and Tanuki sticks his head out, uh, if you can, make sure you got a feather on you. And... Uh, that will open up that portal, which will, of course, be good for the achievement as well, for opening all portals later on. Uh, but from here, you can see the next bin. This is going to be dumpster diving number 9 out of 10. Ah! It's Pickle Rick! Hey, Marty, look, I'm a pickle now. Uh, again, remember, like I said, quick reminder, press the Y button next to people who have phones uh, so they can take a picture of you for the local celebrity achievement. little quick reminder right there. Okay, so what we're going to do then on the... I don't know what the hell I just got scared by. But from the pickle wreck on the fence, building construction working fence, there's another hole to crawl under. Two things in here to grab. One, we're going to give a dog or a boner. And there is another hat here. So crawl back under, head to the right and right again. That's where you're going to see doggy ball number two. And the dog will literally just go nuts. Woof. Now that is some kind of hungry boggo. Right, so we're going to... Uh, now for whatever reason, the game started getting a bit messed up for me here. I actually 
I got teleported inside the building with no way out, so I had to just reload the last checkpoint save. If you do need to do that, you can actually go ahead and just quit the game, and normally an auto save will be right where you started anyway, so that comes in handy. But as we just crawl across these boxes, on the right hand side, oh, uh, well, there is sticky business number 5 out of 10, so make sure to get that one first. And we're going to jump down through the window to get the next hat. Okay, so now we're going to do some supermarket style stuff. We're going to climb in through the vent. Again, don't drop down just yet. There's a couple of shinies we're going to go ahead and grab. Again, this is another one that if you get caught, the uh, lady here will chuck you out. And also, you can move the fan. So I decided to do this the incredibly difficult way, where you can just go ahead and pull the fan over to the right-hand side a little bit in order to get the two shinies and the next fish to eat. <laughs> And there it is, look, happy days, job done. We can go behind it, go and chow down on the fish. That'll give us another sort of stamina climbing boost, as it were. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> you can't see me. You probably can't see me anyway, because you've got no eyes, mouth or nose. So, yeah. Right, so next thing we're going to do here is with this next fan, you can see one of the ducks right there of the four that we need to grab. Or the ducklings, sorry, that we need to grab for Mother Duck over the hill and far away. Everyone knows that noise we ram. So go ahead, pull the fan all the way down and that will actually get the duck automatically following you for one out of four. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and sit in the cardboard box. Here it is, just to the left of where we ate the fish. That's going to be number four out of five for if I fits, I sits. Job done. Right, now if we go towards the counter at the front of the shop, uh, just above the counter is another duck, which, can be, which we have to carry to the pond. So, oh, I'm invisible. Oh, no, I'm good. So just climb up onto the microwaves here. And we're going to grab that one. And then just before we leave, so again, remember these ducks you have to keep in your mountain trousen. Uh, but just before we leave, go ahead and take a nap on the photocopier machine on the right to get Cat Napper 4 out of 7. <laughs> So oh, well done mate. So drop down, make sure to grab the next rubber duck and then we can leave the shop. Uh, next to this door on our right hand side is another hat machine. Um, so again it's another four. So I wonder how much we can grab. We can grab um, 
10. Actually, we can grab all four here. So if you've got uh, at least 40 shinies, you can go ahead and grab all four of these hats. Nicey slicey, make sure to pick up the rubber duck again, and then what we'll do is take a right from the store, from the supermarket, sorry, and then we're going to take another right again, and you can see uh, on our left is now the arcade, and one of the ducklings is playing a game, we just have to basically uh, almost endanger the entire store, even though looking at all those plugs and all those drippings everywhere, uh, pretty much doing itself a decent favour. So, nothing doing by just standing on the plugs, obviously. So, head to the left, grab this shiny here, and then we are going to climb up. Some top, some top uh, old-style arcade game music going on as well, which you can't beat. Uh, so, we're going to head across the pipes. And if we drop down, we're going to interact with the red lever. That's going to basically destroy the game and... The duckling will automatically join us, since it is now, unfortunately, uh, you know, it ain't watching now. Right, so remember to pick up your rubber ducky as well, and we're going to take a left. And we're just going to go straight through, basically a left and straight through into this little crawling area. You're going to find a, a, another shiny and another hat. Alright, so once you've done that, again, make sure to pick up L Rubber Duckness, and we're going to take a right this time. Now, the uh, ducks is right in front of us, but we can't actually go and uh, drop off the... Uh, we need all four ducklings, but what you can do is actually put the third rubber duck in the pond, uh, which I failed to do here. Um, but anyway, so once we get here then, I'm going to grab... The next set of um, hats just from this machine. Oh, well, in fact, I've only got one. So that's two out of four out of that machine that I've currently got. So what we need to do is actually head back to the sh back to the, basically the fruit and veg shop now. So you can leave your rubber duck there. That's fine if you... Well, if you were like me, you can leave it there. Or if you were not as stupid as me, you, you could have obviously just dropped it off in the pond where the rubber duck is. So where we're off then, we are off to the top right-hand corner. Again, we need to go back to the old fruit and veg shop. Uh, so, well, I went into the um, uh, this building yard area. So you, this should be familiar. So just head back to the fruit and veg shop for a minute. And this is actually where I finally get the Fruitfall achievement. So again, since we're here, and if you haven't got it yet, obviously just chuck a banana down, see if it'll work. So I just sort of uh, whack it off, and then finally someone goes, Hey! Ah, <laughs> oh, that's good stuff. Right, so finally got that one out of the way. Then we're just going to head through the shop to the back area. Uh, what you'll see then on your right... And on your right again is Pickle Rick, who apparently scares the crap out of us, and another hat. It's a B A N A N A S hat. All right, so what we can do now is climb up onto the boxes and up onto the aircon units. Basically, 
keep on climbing until we're getting up to said roof. go ahead simply pull the box onto the vent now unfortunately that'll pretty much uh, guarantee the explosiveness of the store but at least we'll get the third duckling in our possession So we're just going to climb over the other side. There is a bird that uh, I am going to grab. I think it did yeah, him. Pounce. Cat pain. Oh, yeah. Gotcha, you little snack bird. You little bird. And there's another shiny there. Might as well grab that on the way as well. So make sure you pick up the feather too. So now we've got three out of the four ducklings. Uh, we are going to grab the next one. So basically jump down to the front of the store where the mayor cat is. Mayor. And from here, we're going to take a right. Uh, we basically need to get into the first floor of the laundrette. Now, the laundrette is to the left of us there. Get out of the bloody way. I'm trying to catch this. But you see what you do? You faceless, stupid woman. Stupid human woman. Oh, but oh, she actually liked us. Ah, oh, well, I'm sorry. Oh, no, she's fuming. Sorry. Uh, that's, that's my bad. I misread the situation entirely. So, go into the alleyway, uh, we're basically going to just climb up the ivy to the left of us, jump down, get these two plant, well, three plant plots out of the way, and nip on through. So once we drop down then, have a look at the basket of washing. That's going to be catnapper 5 out of 7. Ah, another cozy, comfy place for the little pussy coat. And anyway, you can pretty much see the fourth duckling. He was in the end washing machine having the time of his life. Uh, but we do need to talk to him first anyway. <laughs> Then turn around and the magic ginger cat will appear again, so speak to Broski. And uh, what we need to do here is just jump up to where the orangeness of the cat is. Jump up. Don't actually run into it, that'll hurt your noggin. I'll hurt your nut pretty bad. So jump up. And straight in front of us is the red button. We're just going to need to run straight into that. Quack troops. So that's quack troops all done. So we are now free to leave. And we are basically just going to return the ducklings to their papa. So as it turned out then, I didn't get that one portal um, by the fruit and veg shop. So yeah, hopefully you had a good feather on you. And we are straight back here. So that's going to get us another hat. Everyone's good. 
And uh, Daddy Duck is reprieved. He lost the kids. Mother Duck was going to beat the absolute living duck out of him. Uh, but luckily, uh, he's, uh, he's, he's, he's all ducking good now. So, uh, with that bit, uh, they are now just basically going to head left into the pond. Remember the rubber duck from earlier on that I left? <laughs> Hopefully you actually put it in the, uh, in the pond. If you didn't and you were like me, go and grab that rubber duck and put it straight back in the pond. Uh. And this time, from where the Daddy Duck was, we're going to take a right. And we're going to climb up the old Vines of Life Orb. Now, before heading down, go to the left on this wall, just to grab another shiny boy. And now you are free to jump down. First things first, make sure to pull this box out of the way. That just uh, gives you another little shortcut in case you need to come here, uh, through here again. Um, head straight through to the next crawl space. And we are going to grab a hat. Uh, there's a couple of things we're going to grab in this area, actually. A hat. There's a sticky business bird nest behind us as well. Oh, turtle. Turtle. And if we, go, if we can, we can jump up on the scooter here to the right. Jump up. Grab this plot, pot, plot, 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 the pot plant if you wish. But on the AC unit here is another shiny, so we have just grabbed that. Um, yeah, so there's the one. So, uh, yeah, make sure to hit the bird nest just next to the crawl space. That's going to be 6 out of 10 for sticky business. And then just to the right of us is more vines on the opposite side. There we go. So we're going to make our way up. There's another shiny to the left of us, so grab that. And then we can make our way around through the pipes until we see another food bar. So just go ahead, simply knock that one straight down. And then the goal is going to be behind us and to the left. So that'll be three out of four for Bayonet. Right, so now we are done with this area. Uh, the next thing we basically have to do now is um, just go ahead and find any human with a bagel. And the reason I edited that out is because I could not find one damn human with one damn bagel for the absolute damn life of me for a long time. Um, now, in this little area here, there is a hat machine right at the bottom. So if you jump down here where the fisherman is, just to the left of him, there is another hat machine. Um, so that's another four. Those ones cost, I believe, just another five shinies each, I think. Uh, but anyway, that is where the next hat machine is. So we finally found a broski with a bagel. Now again, sometimes you can find people with bagels, but sometimes, as you can see, they just won't trip over you. So it's a pain in the butt. But anyway, once you finally grab said human with said bagel we are going to go um underneath the crawl space basically where that one hat machine was just to the left of the park sorry mr diarrhea bro he's fuming so yep just under here and this time we're going to walk uh climb back up the vines walk around the pipes again where we found the other football but this time we're going to keep on climbing to said rufos so when you get to this area you can either go around the building of the pipes once uh, you'll just grab one shiny or you can climb straight up this ivy right here in order to get to the roof now I ended up going just around the building uh, once in order to grab the one shiny, but again, it really doesn't matter. 
Um, because I said you can do, you can do uh, some recycling of the cans. You can headbutt soda machines, um, headbutt the cans and recycle them to get a lot of shinies anyway if you need it. So this really isn't totally necessary, but I thought I'd just go around the building once anyway. But yes, so in order to get to the roof, you need to basically climb up the ivy. Sorry, sorry, he's a stupid man. Okay, so now we're up here then. Uh, first things first, we are going to... Um, you can go ahead and speak to the cat if you wish, but we're just going to drop the bagel in the bowl and effectively just ring the bell right there, and that should get the cat coming over, and we can take a nap where his little, uh, where his little thing was. Uh, plus, we get the achievement, Hello Everyone, for meeting everyone. Collecting all the animals again. This is pretty much unmissable if you're going for everything else anyway So once you spoke to him ring the bell and then you'll be able to nap where he is to get cat nap a six out of seven Okay, so we're going to start wrapping up a good few achievements here. So the first one we're going to be doing is the giving a dog a bone. And we are going to head basically to the park. So find out sort of where the park is. There we go, right in front of us now. Yeah, slap. Right, that's one of your nine lives lost. Uh, but no, just, just the opposite side of the park, close to the blue truck. This is where the third bone is. So we can pick that up. We are going to go around the corner to the, where is it, to the right? Yeah, yeah, sorry, to the right and then carrying on right. There's the dog, so that now gives us total freedom and we're not going to poop our pants. So give a dog a bone, that is the third one there. So jump into the bin just behind it and that should be dumpster diving 10 out of 10 for that one. So that should be another delicious achievement. So we're also going to get Catnapper achievement uh, 7 out of 7 now. So from the bin or the trash can, we're going to turn back around. We're going to go uh, take the next right. So basically down the sort of fisherman area. Take a left into this uh, sort of sensei looking relaxation yoga blah, blah, area. There's the uh, Super Mario mushroom hat. And then right in front of us in the stone little palace thing right there. Sorry, I, it, it is a specific name. It's a shrine, isn't it? Sorry. Ah, douche. So yeah, head to the shrine, take a nap. That should get you the cat napper achievement too. Right, so we can leave the shrine temple 
relaxation area. Go to the right. And if we continue heading right on the street, uh, what we're going to do now is actually we can climb up this ivy here on the right hand side. Now there's a mis miscellaneous achievement and a... Um, so the paint cans, if you drop the paint cans on the car just in front of the billboard, that'll get you the no parking achievement. But behind the billboard is the uh, another bird. Uh, bird nest for sticky business 7 out of 10. So grab that one and then we can just jump up onto these vending machines. Uh, now in fact, I think... No, what we're going to do is actually we're going to drop off here. And we're going to go back to the sort of fisherman water waterfront area, if you will. So we're going to nip onto these vending machines, where we're going to find another couple of shinies. And then we need to climb up the ivy, up onto the roof. And then we're going to do the same thing. And then we're going to take the wires across over to the next roof. Oh no! Catty stuck! Uh, so yes, my uh, super kitty got stuck, so I actually had to reload the save. But uh, there we go, so once I've <laughs> reloaded and I'm unstuck, make sure to climb up to the roof. Now, you can't go to the left of the old chickadee right here because she uh, will spray you. So what we need to do is we need to drop down. There's another couple of plant pots in here to get some good progress there. She won't actually beat you up, or she won't uh, throw you out for smashing all the uh, plants. So that's all good. In fact, of course, she probably doesn't have ears, so she can't even hear you. So climb up the IV, drop down. Now, you have to be quite quick with this one. For one, speak to the chameleon, which is number five, five. And then once you interact with the red lever here, that's going to turn the water off. The gardener lady is going to come through, and then we need to quickly nip past her, go to the right, right again, head up, and we just need to press the X button to pick up, X to drop it, and then quickly munch away. She looked at you in pure disgust, but that's fine, but that's the third out of four fish we need for an achievement. She did try spraying us then. Ha <laughs> ha, loser! And grab this shiny from the inside, and then, if you can... Hey! Now, again, it's only one shiny, but um, I'm just trying my damnedest to get it. I did get it in the end. <laughs> and again, just for the smash hit achievement, smash out some of these pot plants as well. So, once you've smashed your absolute cat get down. This is where you can get um, some progress for the uh, recycling achievement, by the way. Just headbutt the red uh, soda machine and put the cans in the blue recycling bin just to the left of it. Uh, but, like I said, where we got, where we went ahead and got the um, bird's nest earlier on, um, I didn't actually get the miscellaneous achievement, so we'll go and do that now. So, just jump to the left. Nip the paint cans on it. And as long as a little bit of paint went on it, you should get that achievement. If not, and it completely missed it, just walk in the paint and then walk on the car. It just needs, like, a little bit of paint on it. That's pretty much all. Uh, so, yeah, there we go. Look at this. Yeah, it looks, actually looks pretty cute. So, uh, you can't park there, mate. Oh, that would have been an even better achievement. Achievement name. You can't park there, mate. Anyway, head straight down now uh, where the down the street where the next red van is. We're going to climb up on this red truck again and onto the boxes. Uh, this time, though, we are not going to go to the right. We are actually going to go to the left around the ledge.
And we can go ahead and jump down in this next fenced area. There is another bin in here if you need any more for the dumpster diving. But the most important one is get yourself in the cardboard box. And you finally get the if I fit, so he sits achievement. I don't know why I uh, keep saying that with an accent, but I do. Uh, so yeah, there's another, another path for the dumpster diving if you so need it. Oh, so we actually grabbed the katana up there. Now, remember what I said earlier about the uh, local celebrity achievement? If you have either the scissors or the katana, uh, run up to people with phones. They will get scared. If you press the Y button, they will, nine times out of ten, I think, um, press, uh, press the uh, camera button. So you'll get good progress that way. All right, so continue climbing up onto the AC unit and everything where we are going to find the next chameleon. Or well, the same chameleon, but in the next hiding place. So we're also going to get the back of the net achievement as well. So we'll go back on ourselves, head up onto the aircon unit, the AC, whatever. Pop the yellow ball down. Now, don't just jump straight off. It may land on the blue sheet, which it did for me, even though it shouldn't be too much of a problem. Uh, so pop this one down and the goal will just be behind you. Pop that in for the... Now, you'd think I'd be able to hit it straight and somehow I'd put it behind me. Is it rugby, mate? This is football. You've got to pass it forwards. Try telling that to the Manchester United players, mind. Uh, but anyway, once you pop that one in, you'll finally get the back of the net achievement. <laughs> oh, that's good. That's good, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Right, so now we're going to head to the waterfront. Now remember, if you don't have, uh, make sure to speak to Tanuki there if you don't have that portal unlocked already. Otherwise, you're going to basically go straight down past the old, you can't park there, mate, car. And head to the waterfront. So, uh, oh, yeah, so I'm just going to grab a shiny just off this vending machine here. Now, remember, like I said earlier on, um, when we go down to the waterfront, uh, just to the left of where the fisherman is, just to the left of where those two vending machines are, is the next hat machine. So if you've got enough uh, cash, make sure to go and smash out some decent hats right here. Which I think, like I said, I'm sure it's five. But let's wait and see. Mm, yes, it is five. So yeah, if you got 20... Get rid of these hats. Right, so that one is done. Jumping up here just to grab the next shiny or the uh, other whatever shiny. Now, what we're going to do is get the fantastic achievement, and this should be for grabbing the fourth out of four fish. So, oh, and here, if you need it as well, uh, if you've got a feather, which hopefully you should have quite a few by now, make sure to open up Tanuki's portal. And again, once you get in, you'll be able to just uh, portal yourself straight back. <laughs> And now what we're going to do is head to the fisherman. Now, what you need to do, you may need to wait a while. Now, I sort of waited just in between the cones. Now, what he's going to do, you have to be uh, kind of quick with this one. So once he eventually catches a fish, 
He's going to go over to the left, put the fish on the ground very momentarily, and then you have to press the X button to pick it up and basically run away. There we go. We'll pop it down uh, just slightly. There it is. So it'll fall out. Quickly grab it. Run away. Drop it wherever and just make sure to eat it as quick as you can. And if you've been following the guide, that should be your fourth out of four fish. And that uh, basically makes us climb even higher. Plus, that'll get us the fantastic achievement. Right, so once that's done, head up the steps. Slightly over to your right there is the chameleon once again. Okay, so uh, we're going to head down these steps to the left in order to grab just yet another shiny boy. And if we head back up, you can see this plant pot that, well, was in the way. We're going to grab that one in just a minute. Uh, there's the next dumpster dive as well. So again, that's 12 that I ended up finding through the game. So if you need another one, there's another one. It's always worth coming in here for a couple of shinies and some goody goodies. Oh, look at that. A uh, floppy disk. Now, uh, kids younger than 25 will probably laugh at the name Floppy Disk, but it was all a rage back in the 90s and early 2000s and the 80s. And the 70s, probably not the 60s, everyone was just a hippie in the 60s. Smoking weed and going far out, man. Yeah, the greedy government and stuff. And do all that hippie, all that hippie stuff, and, you know. Did any of them shower? Oh, I don't know, I've never been a hippie. Right, so what we can do is actually climb over this fence. There's going to be a gap in the fence here to the right. So you can go in there for a shiny and another hat. So with that one down, we can head through the crawl space once more. And hello, civilization. Oh, there's no civilization. Oh, nuts. Okay, so go to the next crawl space, which was the left of where we entered. So we basically end up in the sand pity area again. And once again, what we're going to do is just climb up these cardboard boxes and everything to the right. <laughs> Only this time, after smashing the couple of plant pots, we are going to be climbing up the IV. We're effectively now going to get the next chameleon, bro. Well, in just a minute, we're going to get the next chameleon. We're actually going to get the next hat first and a shiny just up on this roof. And, in fact, the chameleon's not in this area. He's actually in the bathroom, which was next to the supermarket. So, let's go down. That's another life lost for broken legs. Uh, so, you can obviously go ahead and use the portal right there. Or the uh, supermarket is... Well, I'm just getting a bit back and forth. Getting slightly confused there. Um, so I can't actually remember if I'd already paid the Tanuki portal the feather. So, if you haven't, make sure just to do that, just so, you know, it's, uh, that's another portal ticked out of the way. Yeah! Bang, bang, bang! And that is, once again, my friend, is how you do it. Okay, here we go, then. So, yeah, as it turns out, I had already paid him, but we've only got one left. You may have two, or you should... Should be on roughly one, but anyway, they're in obvious location, so don't panic. Um, but once we get into the supermarket area here, again, all we're going to do is go to the boxes that were behind the dog, climb up then, and jump into the bathroom. Oh, 
Yep, so that is fantastic. We've got the top hat. And we don't have to find the bloody chameleon anymore, which is pretty cool. Right. So we're just going to do a little bit of clean up, cleaning up now, just before we take Kitty Boy right home. So uh, from here, what we're going to do is actually head back to where we first started talking to the crow, where we gave him the 25 shinies. So, uh, yep, you can use that with the portal. Or we can get into the portal. Or... I'm just trying to think. Again, for some reason, it, you know, it's a small map. But for some reason, it can get... It, well, for me, it got slightly confusing anyway. Um, So we need to be going top right corner into the construction building site. And again, we're just going to head past the fruit and veg market. Back to where we first found Russell Crow. And as it turns out, the last portal for me then was right here, right where the crow was. So that one is done. Hopefully you should be done as well. If not, just keep your eye out. Um, you know, like I said, they're in pretty close proximity to one another. So just keep your eye out if you are missing one or two. Uh, but hopefully you should have enough feathers anyway. So from here then, this is where we first spoke to the crow, more or less at the beginning of the game. So we're going to head up the IV this time. Now this time, because we've got unlimited, well, we've got four bits of dotty energy, we're now going to climb up this IV, which we could not do before. Okay, so before we head, we're not going to actually head through the crawl space here on the left just yet. That's the way home, but we're going to do a f just a couple more things first. So the first things first, we're going to drop down onto these wires just below. And then we are going to, uh, you can drop off on the left in order to grab another uh, key. But we're actually going to jump up to the right, up again. Through the pipe and then just keep on following it around. And we're actually going to be grabbing another hat right here. So make sure to be picking this one up again. This is the crab hat, I think. No, it's completely not the crab hat. It's the tiger hat. Same stuff, isn't it? Crab, tiger, it's all the same crustacean. Uh, one can pinch and one can pinch you to death. Right, so we're basically now going to head back the way we came. So through the other pipes or on the other pipes.
And then we can just jump on the AC units again. Again, just take your time. Be careful that you ain't going to fall off. And we're just going to head to the left and jump up to the roof where we're going to find the beetle again. Okay, that's pretty much a weird request. But, you know, we'll do anything for money these days. So, um, yep, yeah, chuck something on. Um, you can wear whatever you want. Um, just got to get your pussy out. And uh, people will, uh, people, lots of people will pay you. Your pussy cat here. So make sure you be in the cat posing. Um, take a picture, any picture. Remember to press down on the D-pad to get your camera out. And then, uh, yeah. There we go, that's how it starts, and then people will pay you uh, $9.99 a month in order to see some of your pussy cat shots. So we're not done in this area yet, if we head to the left of where we just got the posing achievement, uh, smash this bird's nest just under the billboard, that's 8 out of 10, but again, don't drop down, because we need to go down the steps, well to the left there's another shiny, but we need to now go down the steps where the duck, wa uh, the beetle was, and right in the corner, tucked away, is the fourth rubber ducky, so not over here, we need to go past the dumbbell gym little weights area, and at the end, make sure to grab the next rubber duck. Now, we're also going to grab a hat here as well, so we do need to be quite careful. So, this is where you're going to jump on, and then we're going to go very carefully on the thinnest part of this ledge all the way to the other side in order to get another hat. So, be careful. Don't fall! Uh, <laughs> boogity boogity boo. Yeah, nice. And of course, as always, make sure to keep picking up your rubber dappa ding dong, rubber dappa dicky ducky. So, uh, what you can do now, uh, once we get rid of this rubber duck, we're actually going to pop him straight back in the pond in the area with Big Duck. Um, you can either clean up the rest of the achievements in terms of catching 20 birds. Um, now, of course, where it is for me is straight in front. Hopefully, I uh, got that this time. Uh, yes, I did. In fact, no, I didn't. Uh, <laughs> no, I didn't. Turn around, dumb bum. But yes, so you can either go ahead, get the rest of the achievements, getting people to take 20 photos of us, um, uh, doing all those things, catching 20 birds, etc. Or after we drop this rubber duck off, we could just go ahead, finish the main story, and then have a little bit of a cleanup afterwards. It's completely up to you how you want to do it. Uh, but for now, what we're going to do is go trying to look for a portal in order to get through to the duck pond.
for some reason, for absolutely some reason at all, I don't know why, but I took the entirely long way around instead of just going through a portal, uh, which would have been the easiest and more logistic choice. But anyway, we've got that one done. So rub a dub dub for duckies in a tub, rubbing ducks. So yeah, now what we'll do then, again, as I said, you can do what you want, but for me, we are going to head home. Uh, the way we'll do that, we need to go back to where the crow was uh, at the f at the very beginning of the game. So we can climb over that ivy and then climb the ivy on the top right hand side of the wall. So this time then we are going to take a left and crawl underneath here. There is going to be another shiny that we've got. Um, and then that's all good. So what you have to do in here then, we can speak to the crow again, old Russell Crow. Get some shinies going. And then you're effectively heading into the living room, through the hallway and out of the open window. So when we walk out onto the pipe right here, there is a ledge directly below us, which we're going to drop down on. So again, obviously, just be very careful so you don't uh, lose another one of your lives by smashing your fat legs down on the floor. So drop down, you can see a couple of shinies and the ninth out of ten bird's nest. Yeah, we just effectively uh, followed the only path. Got a couple more bunch of shinies. So you can go ahead, speak to the ducks right here. And grab any shinies and smash any plant pots that you see again.
So personally, this is where I'm going to get the smash hit achievement for destroying 100 pot plants. But again, you know, if you don't get it yet, it's generally fine because any, uh, any and all will respawn in the different areas that you leave. So you can't really, really miss it. God damn, this is an absolutely long way up. I don't know why an a, a cat has to really do this. Not sure why. I mean, surely there's just like a cat elevator or something. But anyway, once we finally turn the corner, we will be home, sweet home. And that's going to get us this well, the home sweet home achievement. Uh, so obviously, we've still got a couple of hats left to grab. Um, Obviously, you might, uh, by now, you pretty much should have got all the ones from the machine. So there's only a couple left to grab. You can actually choose your name here. Uh, I choose Lil Butt Licker, because that's, uh, that's what cats do. Sometimes, a lot of the time. They lick cats other butts, and then they lick their human people. <laughs> you have cat anus on you.
So you get two achievements here. One for Home Sweet Home and the other Neighborhood Hero uh, for completing all of the quests. So I thought it was going to unlock earlier when we last spoke to... When we posed for the beetle in our seductive way. Um, but no, it unlocks now. So there we go. So if you skip the credits by holding the B button, it'll ask you if you want to keep playing, which of course we will. And we're actually going to go ahead and grab the final few hats. There's nothing in here to grab, but this is a nice little room. Uh, so yeah, there we go. So we've got to find 200 shinies, collect the hats, catch and release 20 birds, recycle 100 items, bust all the old birds nests, which of course we will do in just a uh, bit as well. And the uh, getting photographed 20 times. So... It may seem that that may take, again, quite a while, even though we finished the game, but it really, really won't. So we are going to, effectively from here, what we're going to do now is head right back to where we actually started the very, very beginning of the game, where we first knocked the first ball into the goal. Oh man, the climbing ability makes that a whole lot easier. So, here is the first uh, goal. So we're going to climb up. We will then drop down. Eventually. Maybe there's a way. Oh, there we go. Head around the back there and uh, we're going to grab the next hat. And you can also talk to another cat in order to get another emote. Fancy that. Uh, but again, then just behind him there, you can actually pull this out of the way if you want to come back in this area, even though there is pretty much no need to right now. Okay, so um, staying in this sort of general area then, what we're going to do, we are going to now, remember again at the very beginning of the game where we helped the artist by walking all over his painting? Well, we're actually going to head back to that garden now. So when we drop down then, go to the left, and you're going to see like this brown gate. Uh, this is where we actually need to jump up. Ooh, nice ball. So, uh, again, just smash those two out of the way because they're annoyingly in the way. If you so wish, if you so need them. Otherwise, you're going to jump across to the other side. 
Now we can finally climb this ivy. Again, we couldn't do this at the beginning of the game, of course. Uh, continue climbing upwards. And then eventually we're going to hit a balcony where the next hat is. Now, I'm sure this one's Mr. Krabs, isn't it? Yes, this is Mr. Krabs. I like money. Okay, right. So, with that one done, next up, we are going to head to the fruit and vegetable art shop where the mayor cat sleeps. Um, so, we're actually going to be getting a hat and the sticky business achievement all done. So, head to the fruit and vegetable shop. Now, if you take a right around here, again, what you're going to see on the left-hand side wall is some vines and some vending machines. No, you not like cats, you stupid man. So, uh, there's a couple of shinies on these roofs as well, so if you want to grab those, you can more, uh, you're more than welcome to do that. Um, now, to get up, what you need to do is go on the left-hand side uh, aircon unit and then climb all the way up to the roof. Uh, in order to get the last bird's nest and the last hat. So just go ahead and do that. And finally, after what seems like countless attempts of trying to just do things... Ah, oh, I was going to get that then, but the bird disappeared. Anyway, <clears throat> here we go. We're getting up. There's the next hat then over to the left. That's going to be the uh, devil hat. The little devil. You little devil. And to get finally the, get the bird nest and sticky business achievement... We're going to actually jump across, a pure cat parkour style, over to the other side, and then to the left is the final bird's nest. That's going to be sticky business, 10 out of 10, and the achievement should be unlocking. Okay, so I think we've only got now one hat left to grab. Um, oh, and we also get the fat cat achievement there for collecting 200 shinies. So, again, that'll come pretty much naturally, especially with the recycling part as well. Um, so, there should only be one more hat. And remember where we found the dog earlier on with the bone in the building construction site. And I said, make sure to pick up the hat now because for some reason I ended up getting it at the very last. Yes, that's the hat that I'm currently going to go for right now.
In fact, scratch that, we're going to go for that in just a little bit. Uh, it's going to be a bit of a poor man's edit right here. Sorry. Um, so what we are going to do, actually, while we're in the park area... <clears throat> excuse me. Uh, but yeah, a bit of a poor man's edit there. Uh, my apologies, I thought I got rid of that, but obviously not. Um, so we're actually just going to go and catch 20 birds. So again, this may take, you know, sort of 10, 15 minutes perhaps. Depends on how lucky you get or how stupidly annoying the birds get. So just keep on catching birds until the bird bouncer achievement will unlock for you. Sorry, Brad. Uh, bird botherer. That's the achievement. Oh, we got another picture taken of us there. That's good. Right. So with this one done, uh, so that's the bird botherer achievement done. So what we can actually do now, we are going to uh, head to the waterfront. In fact, no, we're not going to the waterfront. Sorry, I'm getting a bit. Uh, I do apologize. I'm getting a little, a little bit uh, confused of myself right now. Oh, finally. Yes, we're going to go and grab these two next two hats from this area. Um, there is also one um, outside of the supermarket, which I think we grabbed, didn't it? So there's two in this area. Uh, uh, one at the waterfront, one to the very right of the supermarket. And there is one outside that little toy shop thing as well. The one with the little kitty big city achievement. Um, so, yes, pretty much think that is all done on the bun. Uh, but we still need to grab these ones, so that's what we're going to do here. Grab the next four. So again then, apologies for the edit there, but I am just uh, going to uh, a, another portal, any portal that you can find. And we are going to go back to the building construction site area. And yes, finally we're going to grab the last hat, which if you had already collected this earlier when I told you uh, while we were already there doing the little mission, um, your achievement for collecting all hats should have unlocked by now. But there we go, just behind the dog then. Again, don't know why I left it till the very, very last. That's very, very silly of me. But we get there in the end. So that, that's uh, the old big corn dog. And the Capped Crusader achievement will unlock that lovely jubbly. Okay, after a little spin and a little yum 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 yum. Next up from here, what we're going to do is continue straight on. <clears throat> and if I believe myself to be correctly, there should only be two achievements left now. <laughs> Of which there is, yes. So, we're going to crawl under here, um, just out on the street next to the fruit and veg market. Now, this is what I was talking about earlier then. So, what you'll see then is the recycling bin there on the right. 
So hit the red uh, soda machine and just deposit. Uh, make sure it says deposit so that you actually go in. And of course, it'll spit out some shinies as well. Now, you have to do this a hundred times. I'm obviously not going to show you a hundred times. There's going to be a cheeky edit skipping down. Um, but after you have done a hundred of these, you will get the litter. <clears throat> excuse me, the litter picker achievement. Oh yeah, so also once you have got all of the recycling cans done, what you can then do is press start, go over to save, because when you save it, it actually saves all your progress even if you quit out of the main menu. So make sure to save, confirm, and then go over to quit to main menu, continue again, and like I said, it'll always progress your save, it'll always save your progress is what I'm trying to say. So any shinies that you collect and any little kind of tricks for achievements, it all gets saved. So continue once again doing this until you have unlocked the achievement. There she blows, that's litter picker done. Now, depending, completely depending on if you manage to get the local celebrity achievement and you are getting photos taken all the way through the game, then you are pretty much probably done with the game now. Unfortunately, that is not what happened to me. But, and you know what, I actually have to give... Um, a big props to Greshery on true achievements. Um... Now, I've obviously told you the the obvious explanation. Press the Y button next to someone who has a phone. Sometimes they take it, sometimes they won't. But if you grab the scissors or the katana, now remember we've got the katana in one of the bins underneath the fence, behind the fence. Once we approach anyone with a phone, they will get startled, or once they do get red startled with the red exclamation mark, press the Y button to meow, and at that point they should take a photo apparently it's not always uh, guaranteed but that definitely works it seems to work a lot better at the time than trying to do it chat sh legit chat schnit legit um, and the uh, basically it's probably pretty easier if you go around the supermarket area it seems to be where a lot of these faceless humans are um, but, uh, yeah, so once you've done that, you should then be finally on 39 out of 39 achievements. So, thank you so, so much for watching, guys and gals. I really hope you enjoyed the game and that the guide helped as well. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and share as usual uh, with a friend if you thought it was helpful. Big shout out, to, as always, to my Patreon supporters, YouTube members, and everyone who interacts with me on the daily, sends me messages and comments. Really, really appreciate it. So thank you so much. I will see you in the next Game Pass game, guys and gals. Big love.